Uh, I would like to uh, maybe share my experience after finishing my study. Uh, it came from my father. He told me that you have to study as high as you can. Because why? Because it would inspire people. So my father told me, even though I cannot see light, <coughs> but I can be the light. So uh, in 2008, when uh, Mbak Arya and me went to Thailand, at that time, I didn't know what, what I had to do uh, for people around me. I mean, like, I should admit that at that time, everything was about myself, you know, like uh, introducing myself to the world and everything like that, but I didn't know what to do. Uh, and at that time, I met Yoshimi, and she was very dedicated. Uh, we, we spoke a lot, and I decided to uh, go to literacy. Mm. So, as you can see, this is uh, three of my uh, books. I've already published 11 now. Wow. And um, maybe if Ma Arya uh, fights for people, for uh, the rights of blind people, uh, uh, informal sector. What I do is um, I do it informally. So I speak to people, like uh, write short stories. Uh, this is one of my books. Maybe is it reverse or something? Mm, okay. Yes. This is uh, Wonder Wahita. So Wahita is the uh, like an angel character that I created to uh, uh, bring the message. So the story is like this. So I have a companion, an angel companion. So usually I, I will make a story like, oh, okay, so blind person has to uh, eat in the restaurant. Like, what what to do? Like, uh, talking to the waitress itself, himself, herself, or what? So I put it in a story because if I use like formal tutorial, I'm, I'm afraid that people doesn't want to read it. So uh, for now, I am um, dealing with teenagers and youngsters. I use. Uh, I am accustomed to uh, giving motivational speech to them, uh, giving training, uh, and uh, most of my books and my works are for teenagers and youngsters. So uh, this is my way to introduce or to uh, do social awareness about blind people because it's, it's very fascinating. You know, for example, if I ordered something from. Uh, online uh, <coughs> service like uh, who who used the cell phone who who ordered it for you oh I myself how come so it's like you know like I'm very lucky staying in Indonesia because not many people knowing about how uh, we use the laptop so we are still considered special I don't know if, if I stay in America maybe not but in here sending WhatsApp behind the head without seeing the screen. It amazes people. <laughs> so when they're amazed, it's easy for us to introduce the technology, to introduce that, oh, we can do this. It's not magic anymore. Mm -hmm. So um, what I do right now, uh, I'm a lecturer myself right now. Uh, I'm teaching English and uh, uh, teaching, um, wh what is it in English? So personality development. Yeah. Uh, I am also a trainer at Ruang Guru. It's a uh, educational pat platform. Um, and as an author, uh, I wish that my book can be translated because it's, you know, like it's, it's the same like teenage story. It, it's full of it's full of love and full of friendship, but always talk about blind person uh, inside to. Uh, to introduce uh, our condition, our situation. And right now I am also joining Mafindo. Mafindo is Masyarakat Anti Fitnah Indonesia. It's like a, a Indonesian anti-hoax society. So I'm working for them uh, to uh, address a hoax. And also what I do right now is making a curriculum uh, about people with disabilities with uh, Mafindo also. They have a program called, called uh, Tular Nalar. Maybe it will be translated into uh, spreading awareness. Yeah, so 
Well, we have uh, eight uh, materials, and one of them are about uh, people with disabilities. So if you go to tularnalar.id, uh, you will see my curriculum there. Uh, it's my first time. And um, yeah, you know, higher education. I cannot imagine if I didn't take that because I met my wife through higher education also. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I couldn't imagine. Like, so usually I would talk to my friends and say, hey, if you want to meet, you know, like a uh, master's degree, girlfriend, you have to, you know, you have to study <laughs> high. So, yeah, things like that. And my dream, uh, besides uh, bringing my stories, my my books around the world, my uh, it's unfortunate that there is no friend from Japan here. But my wish is that I could go to Japan, uh, to Osaka. There's a place that I really want to come called Super. Nintendo World. It's my in inspiration uh, because why? Because uh, usually what I do, like I told you that uh, I cannot see the light but I can be the light. So that place is my source of imagination to write my books uh, to tell them that uh, visual aspects is not barrier anymore. It means that our activities should not be uh, in a segmented by our condition. I mean like if I can write 11 books, you can write 111. So if I can imagine about uh, this angel, because I uh, ask my uh, illustrator to uh, draw the picture as my imagination, so they they spoke to me, like what the wing looked like and the, the costume looked like. And I could, I, I could do that. It means that people with uh, non-disabilities, they can do that more than I do. So what I say to conclude my uh, happy uh, experience now is that we have to be higher. And uh, my special request to Maria because after 2008, I was like a lost child because, <laughs> you know, I do my work, I uh, inspire people, but without any uh, connection with uh, formal organization. So please take me back. Sure. That, that's, that's what I can say and... Yeah. Uh, Welcome back. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that's all. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Ramon. Thank you.